Hello everyone, welcome to Excel problem solving CD. So the problem in today's video will be solving also using different kind of Excel functions. So let us see what is the problem says. So into the column A, I have the employee name, different employee names. Into the column B, I have the department of all those employees. Into the column C, I have their joining date. And into the column D, I have the prior experience of all those employees. For example, Prakash is into the department marketing. His joining date is this particular date which you can see here. And before joining this particular company, he was having a prior experience of two years. So I hope the data set is quite clear now. Let us move to the questions which they have mentioned here. So based on the data into the table below, please answer the questions using the Excel function. So the number one question is number of employees from the sales department who joined before July 2006 and have a total experience prior and present experience of more than 10 years. You can see into the question we need to take into account the prior experience and also the present experience till date of each of the employee. But here we have just a column having a prior experience so how do we calculate the total experience of each of this employee which are mentioned into each of the row so let us first of all calculate the total experience of each of the employees which are mentioned here so i'll be just be adding a column here and i'll name that particular column as total experience of all those employees so let us calculate this so so the very first thing how will be going on to calculate the total experience of all those employees so friends into one of my video of the excel tutorial playlist i have used this particular function which is the ear frac so what does this ear frac function do so ear frac function it gives you need to provide a start date and the end date and it will provide the difference between those particular dates in term of fraction so let us calculate the total experience of all these employees into this particular company for now and later on we'll be adding that particular number to the prior experience number but first of all let us calculate the total experience of all these employees into this particular company so for this i'll be providing the start date so this start date is the joining date and the end date is today's date to get the today's date either we can use is equal to today function or you can see i have kept this function separately and i'll just be providing the address of this particular cell i'll be closing the bracket and you can see for each of the cell i have got the total experience but here you can see the total experience is 110 103 this looks quite insane and this is because we need to fix this particular cell which is g6 here so let us do that i'll just select this and i'll press f4 and you can see all these have been corrected so this is the total experience of all these employees into this particular company now into this particular number i need to add the prior experience to get the total experience of each of the employee just select the entire range and here i will just go and provide into simple numbers so you can see i've got the total experience of each of these employees now the very first thing is sorted out so let us move to the problem and let us try to solve this particular problem so as you can see there are a lot of many different conditions which are mentioned here so we'll be using the count if as function so the very first criteria is the employees should have the experience greater than 10 years so let us select this particular cell or this particular range for the very first instance after selecting this particular range i'll need to provide the criteria so what should be the criteria so the criteria should be selecting all those rows which have a number greater than 10 because I want to get the employees information or count the total number of employees information who have an experience greater than 10 years. So here I'll be just be providing greater than 10. Now the second criteria. The second criteria is we are just concerned with the sales department people. So I'll just be selecting this particular department range and inside this particular range I'll be providing the sales criteria so i'll just be writing here as sales the very last criteria you can see we are only concerned with those employees who have joined before july 2006 so the criteria range 3 is the joining date of the employees and this particular criteria i need to provide the joining date should be less than 
analyst provide the july 2006 he is not mentioned as be just be taking 01 or the very first day of july 2006 so july is the 6th month and 2006 i'll be just providing into the double quotes and that's all i think we need we have just taken all the criteria which they have mentioned into the question so the very first criteria was getting the sales department so i have just taken the sales department here the second criteria was employees who have joined before july 2006 so we have selected this particular range also or this particular criteria also the last criteria was we are only concerned with those employees who have a total experience of more than 10 years so you can see we have taken into that particular thing into account also so i'll just hit enter and you can see i've got four employees by filtering out all those employees all those conditions which are mentioned here going on to the second number question and the question says total number of year of experience of employees in the sales department who joined before 31 march 2009 so here also we need not to use the count function but the sum function because i want to get the sum of the total years of experience of employees in the sales department so let us use the sum if s function since there are lot of many criteria here so the sum range is we need to sum up the total experience so this is the sum range that is the total experience of all those employees next is the criteria range so the very first criteria is filtering out all those employees from the sales department so i'll be just be selecting the sales or the department column here and the criteria i'll be just be mentioning and that is the sales column and the second criteria is we are only concerned with all those employees who have joined before 31 march 2009 so i'll be just be selecting this particular range here and the criteria like what should be the criteria for filtering out all those employees who have joined before 31 march 2009 so the criteria is 31 03 and 2009 and that's it so i'll just this some error okay we need to provide the double double quotes here and you can see i have got the total number of year of experience of employees in the sales department who joined before 31 march 2009 and this is into the fraction terms now if you want to convert this into an integer you can just round this off to zero decimal places and you can see i have got this into the integer value so 123 year of experience of employees in the sales department who joined before 31 march 2009 friends you can expect such kind of tricky questions using lot of different variety of functions you need to solve all these questions expect such questions into the real interviews or the screening rounds so i hope you had found this video very much informational do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye